Sorry to drag you away from lunch, Minister. Not at all, Malcolm. We don't see enough of each other. <laughs> How's Margaret? Uh, Marjorie's quite well. Splendid woman, your wife. <laughs> And the boys still at school, are they? Uh, the girls have left school now, sir. They're at Secretarial College. Really? Well, I've enjoyed our chat. Yes, I did want to have a confidential word with you about Cascara. Cascara? Yes. Remind me, who, who does that belong to? Us. Us, yes, of course. Right. The situation's still as volatile as ever, is it? In, uh, in, uh... In the Caribbean, yes. Right. We've intercepted a CIA report. Apparently, there's a danger of the Cubans invading Cascara, giving us another Falcon situation. Wonderful. Maggie, I'd love it. Oh, the Falcons cost a fortune. Once the dust had settled, it was pretty hard to justify the expense of defending British lives, most of whom were sheep. What's the alternative? If we do nothing, the Yanks will move in like they did in Grenada. We don't want that again. The Queen was furious. Yes, quite. And my recommendation is we evacuate now. The place has been running at a loss for years. Empty, we can make a tidy profit using it as a uh, dump for nuclear waste. Oh, the place is one of the last remnants of the British Empire. I mean, if it's in the Caribbean, and surely we, we, we could encourage tourism. No beach. No beach? And apparently there's the most dreadful wind that blows in all directions at once. That must make a hand of bridge rather difficult. Impossible, I understand. Yes, well, uh, do as you see fit, Malcolm. Oh. So long as the people don't end up here driving our buses. <laughs> no, 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 we make alternative arrangements for the population. Good. Uh, well, we'll have dinner sometime. Yes. <laughs> and you will give my love to Marigold and the boys. Will do, <laughs> Minister. He bought it. He's passing on my recommendations to the Prime Minister. Oh, super, Sir Malcolm. <laughs> Congrats. Yes. It's so rare these days that people in power have the courage to take tough decisions. Thank you, Sarah. I suppose you'll have to nip over to the Caribbean to break the sad news. It's one of the burdens of high office, my dear. Thank you. Tell me. Do you have a bikini? Five minutes for you. Welcome to Cascara, Sir Malcolm. I'm sorry about the tone of my last memo, but it's nice it's brought results. What memo was this? You didn't see it. No, but you saw mine. I cabled you saying I wanted a quiet word in your ear, and you've laid on a bloody carnival. But the people are rather excited, sir. This is their first official visit since 1898. <laughs> oh. Sir, may I present the First Lady of Cascara, my wife Dolores? No. How do you do? I'm so pleased to meet you. Yes, quite. What's this now? It's the Cascaran National Anthem. What are you all doing? The breaststroke, sir. You see, these people are all descended from shipwreck victims. This, presumably, is the backstroke. Yes, sir. It's symbolic of the different strokes that brought people here. Perhaps we should stand, sir. Would you care to address the nation, sir? Certainly not. Drive on.
You better go straight to Government House, driver. Helen and I want to get back to the boat. Turn right here, would you? <laughs> But we've arranged lunch here, and after that there's a cricket match, and then we have to discuss Cascara's future. The point of my visit tonight is to inform you that Cascara has no future. What? Close down an island like a bankrupt business. And what about these people? Are you going to offer them independence? Certainly not. We'll relocate them on one of our other islands, St. Michael. We're putting in an airstrip, a couple of hotels, and a nine-hole golf course. So we'll be needing laborers and ultimately a lot of waiters. And what are you offering as compensation? A bag of seed and a mud hat? Oh, I'm not sure we'll go that far. I mean, all that I'm not having a super time. <laughs> Sarah, my dear, they don't expect us back from the Caribbean until the evacuation of Cascara is complete. You typed the memo, remember? Oh, huh? gosh. <laughs> so I did. You're... <laughs> Hello. Yes. Who? Oh, sweet, what is it? I'm under savage pressure here. No, little, little lower, sweetie. What? Uh, Are oh, the Yanks... The Yanks have found what? Water? But of course you have my authority to extend their drilling rights. Look, London takes the view that everything on that island is for sale or lease, right? Why don't you see if you can get a good price for the volcano while you're at it? <laughs> Rather good. Is there a hiccup? Yeah, no, 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 nothing for you to worry your pretty little head about, my dear. Right, now. Why don't you run along and make us both one of those drinks with an umbrella in it? And then perhaps you could slip into that costume, eh? The nurse or the naughty schoolgirl? Oh. oh, I think the latter. Oh, oh Sarah, Sarah, don't, uh, don't forget the knee socks, eh? I can assure the house... I can assure the house that the terms due to our government in exchange for Cascara and mining rights are both realistic and generous. Oh, 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 oh. You will recall, Prime Minister, that due to the underhand methods of the Americans, we were, at the time, unaware of their discovery. Quite. Yes. And this is perhaps reflected in the somewhat disappointing revenue which we, which, 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 which we anticipate. How much? Uh, one, uh, one cent for every hundred barrels. I, I take it you're asking for my resignation, Prime Minister. It's a little late for that. I have been informed, though not of course by you, that there is a subversive element on Cascara, one Delgado Fitzhugh. Oh, just one person, Prime. There was only one Gandhi once. One anorexic little loony in a loincloth, and we lost a whole subcontinent. What Cascara needs is a revolution. And the first act of the new republic will be to nationalize all local industries. In other words, Yankee, go home. Uh, I don't quite see how that helps us. Uh, of course you don't. Then let me make this absolutely clear. You will return to Cascada and secretly finance their revolution in exchange for a promissory contract guaranteeing us the bloody bottling rights. My wife. She's a little overwrought. Oh, son of a bitch, come back! Oh, man! 
I think it's the strain of recent events. Well, for God's sake, have a word with her. That sort of thing doesn't do in front of the natives. Here we are, Sir Malcolm. Ah, right, thank you. No, 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 please, please don't get up. Miguel, why aren't these people under lock and key? It's a, uh, um, the recreation hour, boss. Yes, quite right, too. Can't cage men up like animals. Well, how are they treating you, then, Delgado, eh? Got everything you need? Toothpaste? Tobacco? Uh, oh, I see we're teaching you a trade. All part of the rehabilitation programme. Sir Malcolm, this is Delgado Fitzhugh. Ah, yes, absolutely, of course it is, yes. Jolly good. Uh, how's the food, then, Delgado? Looks jolly nourishing to me. <laughs> What's this made from? Betelbox, sir. It's a local crop from which the people make soup or rope depending on their needs at the time. Splendid. Uh, would you like a bowl of it, Sir Malcolm? Yeah, thank you, no. Uh, a glass of rum? Uh, no, what I'd really like is a word with these two gentlemen alone. If you don't mind. Thwaites, would you and the constable make yourself scarce for a moment? Thank you. <laughs> no, no, no! A thousand times definitely no! Can't believe I'm standing in the jailhouse. Can't believe my ears is hearing what you say. God's sake, man. There's no need to broadcast this all over the island. This is a highly secret discussion of the Pirates of Penzance. And look, let me... Let me spell it out for you. In exchange for independence, all we ask is a 50-50 interest in the water. Right. And then you can be... President, Generalissimo, witch doctor, whatever. You name the costumes, we'll provide the hats. Vice President? Yeah, absolutely, old chap. Yes. Now, the next time there's a royal christening, you can both pop over on a state visit. Front pew in the Abbey, tickets for Wimbledon. Yeah. You offer me 50 50. You expect me to say yes. Well, I'm a man of integrity. 60 40. No less. Done. Are you saying that this deal has the sanction of the British government? Perfectly orthodox ploy. Bowing to public opinion, we will be forced to release the rebel from jail. He'll take to the hills, and then we can start to propagate the legend. T-shirts, posters, that kind of thing. This is beneath contempt. Deciding the fate of a nation without any regard for its heritage or culture. You call rope soup a culture? Who is it? I warn you. I'm armed. Mrs. Fate, what are you doing? Your lordship. Oh, no, no, I'm not a peer. Uh, not yet. I claim Sir Malcolm will suffice. Sir Malcolm? Yes? I would rather die than stay here. Hmm? Please. <laughs> When you leave, you take me with you. I can do many things. I can cook. I can sew. I am still young. My body is firm. Look. Pull yourself together, Mrs. Threat. Really. <laughs> I am Mrs. Stone. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's the heat woman. No, I, I saw this happen in Zimbabwe to Freddy Cartwright's wife. No, no, no. Cold bath, the answer. Oh, no, no, no. There, there, there. No, please. Ah. What was that? Okay, mi amor. How long has that volcano of yours been dormant? As long as me. Oh. But maybe... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you have awakened us both. <laughs> right. Pay attention. Now, I want sandbags all around the house, every window boarded up and the roof fortified. We're dealing with terrorists here. They've already blown up the jail, so this house could be their next target. Right, off you go. What's this, you grubby child? How about a dollar? How about a clip round the ear? Go and bugger off. Good Lord. What is it? It's a sort of ransom note from the rebels. They're holding Thwaites and some woman called Weintraub. Blah, 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 blah. Kill the hostages unless their demands are met. Kill? Yeah. Yes, well, come on, don't stand around gawking. It's work to be done. Come on, what are you having here? Sir Malcolm Leverage, as spokesman for the British government, do you feel that the jailbreak and the taking of the hostages indicates a growing measure of support 
for the Cascaran Liberation Movement? There is no movement. The only support the rebel has is a bongo player. No, no, this is simply a localized incident which you people, are typically if I may say, are blowing up out of all proportion. Now, under British rule, this island has always been, and always will be, a model of stability, common sense, and tranquility. <laughs> Between ourselves, London's delighted to have gorillas creating havoc in the hills. <laughs> and they think I engineered the whole thing. So I'm smelling of roses. <laughs> oh, of course, I, I do realise that uh, this is a time of great emotional stress for you. With your husband captive. But you know, my life too could be in danger. Yeah. Maybe I should go someplace. Like the Riviera. Ah, uh, rather you didn't. Look better if you stay for the press. You know, a loyal little wife, bravely choking back a tear, quivering up a lip, that sort of thing. Huh? I suppose I must do my duty. That's a spirit. Now, why don't you slip into that nun's habit again? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> hey, go on, off you go. <laughs> Please give me a little room. Thank you. Uh, go ahead. Do your best. Don't go, no! Delgado! Your mother and I are both here! Oh, no. I can't handle this. On television. To... It's emotional blackmail, Delgado. Don't go for it. We're both appealing to you. Lay down your arms. It's too late for that, Eric. Mm. Quick! I don't know what you're hoping to achieve, but before you do anything rash, I'd like to remind you of your duties to the Crown. And... And, of course, your responsibility is to Dolores, your distraught wife of 14 years. I know my responsibilities. Let him through, Garfield. Look, will you people get out of the way? I have absolutely nothing to say. No, thank you very much. No, thank you. Don't worry, sir. I have a sniper position. One nod from you and he'll shoot the bastard's pecker off. Oh, thank you, Major. But I'm sure diplomacy will prevail. Excuse me. What do you look like, Thwaites? You haven't shaved, you smell like a rancid goat, and you've thrown in your lot with a bunch of grubby gorillas. You've become the patty hearst of the British diplomatic corps. I'm helping to foment revolution. Wasn't that the British plan in the first place? Yeah, I see. You have rather exceeded your brief. So my deal with Delgado still holds, does it? All deals are off. You and the Americans have to agree to let the rebel appear before the United Nations and put the case for Kaskar and independence. You can't do this. Think of England. Think of your duty. But think of me. Have you told him about us? It is true, Bastard. We were without the power to resist. I want a divorce. Yeah! Oh, shut up! Because I want to marry Sir Malcolm. Yeah! Shut that woman up, Major! There's a bloody sniper man! Congratulations, sir. I hope you'll both be very happy. <laughs> Smile, Sir Malcolm, as the cameras catch the dying moments of a British colony. Dying moments of my career, you mean? Thanks to this disastrous episode, the Right Honourable Margaret Thatcher is going to have my balls. If she doesn't, Sir Malcolm, Dolores certainly will.